Tonight, we're going to be going over the top 10 best running backs right now in Madden 24. Now, this could easily change. Who knows? They might drop somebody for Ultimate Legends. The Easter promo, or Easter promo, uh, part three of the uh, Easter promo, we might get Saquon Parkley with a crazy ang angry run. So, this could always change. You never know when. Uh, if you wonder why the camera angle is different, I broke my TV, so I have a different... I have a TV that is behind me right here now because it broke and I needed something else. That's why the camera, camera angle looks a little different, but enough blabbering though, man. Let's get to the list. Starting our list off at number 10, we got Darren McFadden, a free card, which this is my still my starting running back to this day. This car gets all team cams. All you got to do, I, I don't actually even know if you can still do this, but uh, if the combine challenges are still around, all you got to do is complete all of them and you can literally get this guy for free. Now, I'm not going to lie. The ending to those challenges sucks, but uh, it's definitely a pretty nice card. Uh, he gets human joystick for free, which I think is one of the most underrated abilities this year. I feel like human joystick has not been talked about at all this year. It is really good on the running back. Uh, he, he gets this for free and energizer, so not really that bad. Uh, he's got a really solid juke. And not to mention, he also gets the, also gets the X Factor uh, Wrecking Ball, which uh, it's not angry runs, but he, he'll definitely break some tackles with it, some stiff arms and trucks. So for a free card, it's probably one of the best free cards I've ever used. The only real downside to this McFadden card is, one, he has really bad carrying. You can see it's 78, so he might fumble a little bit. And two, he has 70 catching, which isn't really that good. Even though I, I will say, though, for 70 catching, he has made some pretty tough catches for me. But uh, 78 carrying is not really good. Number nine, Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor, in the beginning of the year, was probably one of the best running backs I can still say I used all year. He has one of the better jukes in the game. Not one of the better, one of the best jukes in the game. He's a bigger running back, six foot one, two twenty eight. The only problem is he's a little bit slower with that ninety six speed. But like I said, he's got a really good juke. He also gets some pretty solid discounts. Uh, he gets jukebox for free, which I mean, it make like I said, you mix that in with the juke that he has. It's godlike. Human joystick for one, a matchup nightmare for one. So not really bad abilities. Very good card. Number seven, we got Marshall Falk. So I got Marshall Falk ahead of these other two guys because one. He's faster than Fred Taylor. He's also got a pretty solid juke. I still think Fred Taylor's is better, but uh, he's faster than him. You know what I mean? He's got some better stats. Uh, he's definitely got better carrying than, uh, what was his name? Huh? McFadden. McFadden had 78. And, I mean, he gets some pretty good. But he also, well, before we even talk about it, but he's also got, he's also got really good uh, catching stats and pretty good route running stats. So, for a running back, that's pretty good. I mean, 90 short route run. He's a really good receiving back. He also gets some max factors. You know, you got the evasive and the uh, the backyard halfback, which evasive isn't really that good this year. In past mans, it was jukebox and spin cycle combined into one ability. It's not like that anymore. It just helps with steerable like spins and jukes. It's, it's honestly trash. But uh, Folk does get some pretty good abilities, though. You see, he gets energized for zero, human joystick for zero, and short and elite for one. So human joystick for zero is really good ability so i would say folks just a lot more well-rounded than the uh the last two backs number seven we got raheem moster so raheem moster the first thing you're gonna see is the 99 speed you know i mean it's not 99 speed it's right there in front of you we don't got too many players that are just stock 99 speed in the game i think it's tyree kill raheem and i don't even know if it's anybody else but it's, it's only a couple guys uh the thing with raheem is though he doesn't he doesn't get bad abilities either it's just you know he doesn't really have a crazy joke um, I, he doesn't really fight for yards that much. He's just, you know, he's just kind of a speed guy. He's just, you know, one way speed guy. He's got, he's got, he's got the breakaway speed. Now, he doesn't get any X factors to start on or anything like that, but he does have some pretty solid abilities. You got running back apprentice for zero, short and elite for one and human joystick for one, uh, matchup nightmare for zero and evasive for one. So it's, you know, it's not crazy abilities. Some of them are, you know, a little strange, but you know, I don't know. I feel like he, he's got the 99 speed. You can get him for free if you do the uh, the house rules and just get the chocolates to get the BND 98. So not a bad card, but I don't think he's anything spectacular. Number six, Christian McCaffrey. I mean, this guy has so many cards. I had to pick between all of his cards. I would say it was the team of the year. You got the Super Bowl card. Then you got the honors card. The honors card was the worst one, but the Super Bowl and uh, the team of the year card honestly aren't that much different. I would say the team of the year card is a little bit different, but... They're not that different. So if you want to use the Super Bowl card, you also honestly can. You just got to upgrade him. But his team of the year card is really good. He's, he's, you see, he's got really nice running back stats. He's also got good catching stats. He's got good route running stats. So it'll be another good guy come out the backfield, 8-9 short route run. And he gets solid abilities. Now, I don't think Christian McCaffrey has the craziest juke in the world, but he does get jukes box for zero. So that's going to help out a lot. Short and elite for zero and route tech for one. So... Uh, oh, and human joystick. So you can put human joystick on for zero and juke box for zero. So he gets really good abilities. Uh, he's going to be nice in the pass game. I would say every starting here with McCaffrey and everybody after him, all these running backs are just, they're elite. Everybody before them, what I thought was solid, you know, 
they weren't too crazy but all these next guys coming up they're legit number five we got b john robinson now b john robinson could have been honestly I, I i wanted to put him over some of these other guys but his abilities are the only thing that kind of holds him back they're not anything too spectacular because on the field b john robinson does have one of the best jukes in the game he's gonna run hard uh, break tackles he, on the field this is really good running back it's just the problem is you know he doesn't get any crazy x factor and his abilities are just you know goal line for zero goal line back for zero bulldozer for one backfield master for one uh evasive for one and playmaker for one so his abilities aren't really that good uh but on the field i mean he's one of the best running backs in the game number four we got beast mode so any running back that gets the angry runs x factor and can start on i mean look i'm gonna have to put you like in a very good spot on the list and i say that because i'm actually not the biggest fan of this beast mode card uh, i don't think he has a very crazy juke but the reason why he's at number four is because he can get angry runs now it starts on for six comes off for a couple plays then it'll come back on but i mean the plays when this thing is going to be on i mean all hell is just going to break loose it's one of the greatest abilities in the game and it's not a good thing it shouldn't be in the game but it's just it's a wild thing dirty cowboy alert dirty cowboy alert number three we got emmett smith another guy that gets what do you think angry runs and you would think for like a because emmett's a smaller back i think he, he's like five yeah, he's five nine but he is two ten so he's a little stocky but you would think like for a smaller back like even with the angry runs it wouldn't be all that no it's all that i mean this guy i find I, I put him ahead of marshawn because i just think this card overall plays better than him even like without the angry runs and I mean, if you probably went against this card, he's gave you some problems. Number two, we got Tiki Barber. So Tiki Barber doesn't get angry runs or anything like that. But I mean, you can see just taking a quick look, glance at his stats that, okay, he looks absolutely insane with the stats. And then, I mean, his abilities, I mean, it's, it's insane. He gets jukebox for zero, backfield master for one, and grab and go for zero. And you can use the grab and go and jukebox both for zero. So that's, that's pretty insane. And 510 205 i mean not the tallest but you know once again you know got a little got a little muscle to him uh i mean th this car is insane if it wasn't for angry runs this would probably be like probably the best running back in the game i mean we all knew who was gonna be a number one i mean it's bo jackson no question angry runs and the difference between his angry runs and the other guys the angry runs that we talked about his doesn't leave so you wait nine plays and once it gets on it does not turn off it's he, he's the best running back in the game even without it i mean you see the stats uh the guy can pretty much do it all and by the way i did learn that apparently angry runs is not on last gen because some of you guys asked me like where's the x factor at yeah it's not on last gen it's only i can't even say next gen because this is current gen so it's just not on the old uh man it's only on the ones the current ones right now but this is the best running back in the game, no doubt about it. And honestly, if we're being completely, like, if we're just being real, like, he's probably going to be the best running back for the rest of the year. I don't see another running back coming out that's going to be better than him. He gets angry runs for the entire game. He's 6'1", almost 230. He's a huge back. He's got one of the best jukes in the game. I doubt we see another running back that comes out that's going to be better than him. Now, there were some running backs we left off the list. We left Josh Jacobs off the free agency card. He's a pretty good card. I mean, he gets all team cams, but the thing with him is... He has probably one of the worst jukes I have ever seen in the game. And, you know, juke, it's a pretty big thing. Like, you got you to gotta at least have something. He don't have nothing. I think Jameer Gibbs missed the list, too. I mean, Jameer wasn't too bad. There's a couple guys that missed the list. Let me know in the comments some guys that we left out. I mean, I looked through all the running backs. There's no, we didn't just, you know, make the list on the fly. There was a reason why some guys got left out and some guys made it. You guys let me know down in the comments who is your running back right now. Who do you think got snubbed from the list? Let me know. That's pretty much all I got today for you boys. Uh, Sunday, the eggs hatch. Hopefully, uh, you know, the Eagles get a really good card because we are getting one. We're getting to go birds. I'm hoping. I, I think it's going to be Fletcher Cox, but I hope it's Saquon Barkley. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, Till the next time, though, boys. See you all in the next one.